What's going on YouTube? It's Donnie B all day. I'll tell you what guys, I did a video a while back on this knife right here. This is the Tactical Gears, my cat's inside a box. I don't know why you can buy these animals. Crazy expensive toys for them to play in. But they only want the box, it's like a little kid. But anyway, getting back to this. This is a Tactical Gears Lockback. This is a, uh, th this is a D2 Steel. Um, this is their almost straight edge version. They have another one that's a Tanto tip. And um, this thing, when I originally tested it, I was blown away. This was a sub $20 knife or somewhere in there. I don't even remember how much I paid for it, but it was dirt cheap. Dirt cheap. A, a lot cheaper than the quality of the blade. And when I did this video, I was, look how fat that is. I was talking about it like this thing was the second coming of Knife Christ. I mean, it's just, it was awesome to me. It was awesome, and I loved it, and I talked about it, and I, I talked it up, and uh, and I gave you guys a really good review on this knife. And I didn't just recommend it, but I highly recommended it. And you can see it's Tactical Gears with a Z at the end. But um, recently, I got a a, uh, a comment on that video and it, it, it was a good comment that made sense and the guy simply put do you still love it you know what I mean and it, and it really got me to think that I've done videos you know almost a year old now because I haven't been doing this too long but almost a year old I did a video on this talking about how great it was but that was how great it was when it was brand new and so this guy says in his head, he's thinking, okay, this is a cheap knife. And as a new knife, he really likes it. It's great. But does it hold up over time? And I have to say that this is one of my everyday carry knives. I have a group of knives that I carry um, daily that I, I'll switch out, sometimes depending on what I'm wearing. But um, I'll switch out my, my everyday carry for a different one all the time. As a matter of fact, I'll show you real quick my uh, my everyday carry lockbacks. Well, uh, so this little group right here is my, uh, it's on a magnetic strip, it hangs on a wall, but I took it down so I could show you guys. This knife normally fits right there. That's what I'm carrying today. So you can, uh, you can see that there's a hole missing, but these are the guys that I switch depending on my day of what I'm going to be carrying. And yes, these two are both the same exact knife, the Essie of Ispa. Um, knife so great that I have two. Um, this one right here is a steel wheel cut jack. Um, the big version, I already gave you guys this one, which is the small version. Um, I love those knives, just insane. Oh, another one I didn't bring you is this Kershaw right here. I gotta bring you that one soon because it's awesome. But um, you have the cold steel, you have the Kershaw, you have the case tribal lock. That thing is amazing. Steel wheel. This is another one of these. It's a budget knife. It's a. It's called a big shot. I think big chief or something like that. I'm trying to look to see what it says there, but I think that's what it's called. And that's another like fifteen dollar knife I got from Cutlery Corner. And um, that thing has proved to be awesome. I, I, it's another one that I carry a lot and um, absolutely love it for a budget knife. This one and that one are the only two budget knives in my pile um, as far as like sub 20. Um, but great, great knife, that guy right there. Um, this one is the K-Bar and that's the Buck 110. And there is uh, another Kershaw and the Steel Wheel, the um, Ontario and then the two uh, SEA Vispas. So these are the ones I switch out as far as lockbacks. Um, these are the ones I switch out through daily depending on A, what I need them for, B, what I just feel like grabbing, or C, what matches the best. Today, I was carrying this, and I wasn't planning on doing a video, not at all as a matter of fact, but I saw that guy's, uh, that guy's comment and it really made me think, you know what, That's it's a great comment. It's something that people want to know. 
how do these things hold up after being used for quite a while? And I was sitting here cutting open this cardboard box that dear Luna doesn't seem to want to leave. You can see I was cutting it open and uh, she just will not uh, escape this damn box. So I figured why not uh, tell you guys how this thing is holding up and uh, show you what the edge looks like still after all these months of being used. So let's go uh, use it a little bit more on some of this cardboard. Ooh, I love my knife. Okay, so first things first, let's go over the action. The, um, the open close is still flawless. Um, it's just, it's fast, it's easy, it works. The lock is actually really good. In my initial video, I did something where, I don't even know what I did, I, I banged on it somehow, but I made the lock push over a little too far and it got stuck and I just had to pull it back. Um, since then, it hasn't happened. Since then, it's worn in beautifully. There is no wiggle, no wobble at all. Um, let's see if I can't even hold it dead tight to make to show you guys that it's just not moving. Um, it's extremely, extremely tight. I've not, not once that I have to mesh, uh, mess with the tensioner. The grip is still extremely comfortable. Um, the blade obviously hasn't lost any girth. That thing is still one of the fattest lockbacks you'll see in this size range. Um, the D2, there is zero edge issues. Zero edge issues. Um, let's see. I don't know if it's still shaved sharp. I haven't had a, a reason to test that. And I was getting a spot without even hair on it. But I'm seeing hair. So, obviously, the edge held up I think you can see it the edge held up really really well um, let's see if I can get a spot with more hair on it I, I use these arms so much for uh, for edge testing that uh, I run out of hair but it is uh, it is taking hair and I haven't resharpened or rehoned or retouched this blade um, since I got it and uh, it's still moving some hairs and that's pretty good. But what I was doing, I was cutting cardboard, and uh, it was just going straight through. I mean, not an issue at all. I was carving through the whole box, just ripping it, and um, it was just, just awesome. Um, the thing is as great as it was the day I got it. You know what I mean? Um, and that really makes for a very buyable blade. This is something that is extremely well worth, especially the price, because this was dirt cheap. But um, the strength of this thing, the, the sharpness, the edge, this, just the, the all-around D2 steel that they use, they did a good job with this. Um, I'm not chopping bricks with it. You know what I mean? It's an everyday carry, so it's an everyday carry use knife. So basically, I mean, you can just see running through cardboard is a breeze. And when you're talking about everyday um, carry knife, you're talking about doing stupid things like ripping through cardboard. Um, you know what I mean? Your everyday carry lockback isn't made to split cinder box. Uh, you know what I mean? It's just made for daily use. The stuff that you're going to, hey, look how fat that is. The stuff that you're going to need to get done. Um, as your day progresses, I'm still blown away by this, no matter what. Um, it's still an easy wear. The pocket clip is still nice and tight. Um, there's no loosening. There's no shifting. Um, I don't know, man. It's it's hard because everything I said in the initial review of this thing still stands. Nothing, nothing has changed. It hasn't gotten any worse at all. It stayed exactly the same. How does it do on some wood? Let's test that real quick because I have some uh, kindling. All right. So here we go. We have a stick. Let's uh, knock off some of the, some of the, 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 you know, the bark and whatnot. I couldn't remember the word bark. Um, but this thing is still shave accurate. When it comes down to um, processing wood, things like that for, for fires, this is... 
really, really dry. This is really, really hard. Um, perfect for um, for fire starting. So if you were, you know, needed to get some nice little curls there to get it going, this blade still, no matter what, it's going to do the trick. So now I'm going to knock all these little curls off. I'm actually going to light all this cardboard pretty soon. So I'll actually use that. Um, but the thing is still is still just awesome let's see nice hard wood makes um notching difficult if you have a bad knife if you have a good knife it makes notching pretty simple um and you can see that's pretty simple this edge and this blade is just still the same over time and that's unsharpened um not played with not dealt with as far as the edge is concerned it's just used but not abused and the thing is still pretty much flawless um the tactical gears right this thing just holds up i don't know if they've made any new knives since i've done this i found this one on ebay along with the tanto that they have and um i'll tell you what this guy right here this is one of my fan favorites. I have hundreds of knives, and that rack right there that I just showed you, I used my head to show you that one over there. That rack right there is pretty much everything as far as anything that folds that I carry. The only other two knives that I carry outside of these two that I would use on a regular basis is the um, that Case Sodbuster and uh, my Victorinox um that thing is awesome too but those are the only other two knives and those aren't lockbacks that's why they're not hanging on that rack <laughs> i keep showing you in my face um if they were lockbacks they'd be up there too but um that's it out of out of all my blades and i brought you plenty of lockbacks already and i have plenty more to bring you um but these are the ones these are the ones i switch out and use on different days of the week and every single day, I mean every single day, I have a knife on me. And every single day, I use a knife for something. But the uh, SE Avispa, I was making some BLTs, and nothing, nothing slices a tomato like the SE Avispa. That thing is just awesome. Um, as far as just daily handy-dandy work and needing a big, fat, thick blade, this guy right here got the job done when I bought it. It's getting the job done today. I love this knife. It is awesome. So to answer the questions, do I still love this knife? After whatever it is, between six and eight months, I have no idea how long it's been. Um, this knife is still one of my favorites, and it's still one of my carries. It's still going strong, and um, as you can see, it's it's just still perfect. So, ta-da! tactical gears it was worth it when i bought it i didn't know it was going to be worth it when i bought it i thought it was going to suck um i was pleasantly surprised enough so to where this thing rides with some of the better lockbacks made and um i am digging it still also i am donnie b all day and until next night